evidence. So why not give it a go, as the radical feminists would say? Because the evidence suggests, say. well, it's fine. If, if, like, if someone wants to start a company and make it more feminine and compassionate, let's say, and caring in its overall orientation towards its workers and towards the marketplace, then that's a perfectly reasonable experiment to run. My point is that there is no evidence that those traits predict success in the workplace. And there's because plenty of evidence. Because it's never been tried. Well, that's not, that's not really the case. Women have been in the workplace for, what, at least ever since I've been around, the representation of women in the workplace has been about 50%. So we've run the experiment for a fair, fairly reasonable period of time, but not, you know, certainly not for centuries. Let me move on to another debate that's been very controversial for you. Um, and this is, you got in trouble for refusing to call trans men and women by their preferred personal pronouns. No, I that's ask. not actually true. I got in trouble because I said I would not follow the compelled speech dictates of the federal and provincial government 